claws are red with the gore of first blood. Stealing a lot of experience from the boys, and it's slowing them down by a lot. It really screws with the uh, Beastmaster timing, it delays it by like a whole minute. Sneaker may get punished for this, he just took another last hit, but he's got no mana to get out of this one. Yapso comes in, probably should see in a second that Sneaker's Riverborn, two seconds. Riverborn, two seconds. Yep. Nice. Get the snow on. Has help coming in the form of art style, but I don't think that's going to help. Oh, the smoke stream was really good. <laughs> nice. d in the mid-ward as well. And place that down. Nice. I mean, Escape have full control. They've got the high ground observer. They've got sentries on multiple locations. Right like generally, he gets stunned once. You can just get bursted. First spotted going back invis, pinged out by error. Yep. Level four and a half on him as well. No detection up here though. Outside rotating top. Want to make something happen here? Yep. Error's spading it seems, but I don't know if he's expecting this many heroes to come his way. Disruptions there, and that fades out in rage. So error. He's dead. Bites off more than he can chew. That's a bit of a misplay, perhaps, overall from Escape, thinking they could fade it out. They saw the, the bounty hunter go invis and still hung yeah. around. We've seen the smoke now on the Beast Master. Most likely gonna rotate to the uh, mid lane. is pointless. Where does he want to go? Maybe he just wants to go back to the lane. Just have a smoke ready for later. Uh, yeah, uh, if there's no obvious skill on the map, perhaps that's the call. Or he had. Uh, I mean, if you say. Do we we had zero to five kills though. I think we're wrong on the kills. So uh, I mean, we 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 may as well just give up already. Kezu is dead. Yep. Can't can't help him. No. He does raw Dendi. That's going to make his life a little bit easier. Dendi's going to have to fire him. Yeah. Gets up. The Siri chains right before the smoke comes out. Yapsu's been dusted as well. This could be a follow-up kill, but no mana on Dendi on Sanika. No, the boar is just like. And yeah, the boar is. It was really nice boar micro because he slowed both the Ember Spirit and the Bounty Hunter kind of nicely. Mm. The call is to smoke Roche. From escape. Will this be spotted? Well, it was not being spotted. More a question of will this be realized? They protected really nice with wards. And they did use the wave of terror, which passed over, all over the board. Yeah. yeah. They should definitely know, but. Well, no, you only know if your camera's over the area, though. You say definitely oh, yeah. no, Black. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, definitely no. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they, not everyone has they, the they micro 9K MMR camera action of yourself. <laughs> Your camera's moving every, well, 9K APM, I should say. Well, Dendi's Dendi. coming in. Yeah. Yeah, is Dendi going out, though? That's perhaps a better question. Uh, the stacks are rolling on a gun. It might actually make it work now, because yeah. Ursa's out of mana. Oh, that was so good of Dendi. Perhaps Ursa should have. I, I think he should have kept hitting Roshan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
It was they they they. Could, I guess they didn't have the best vision to understand how many more Navi heroes were there. Sneaker could have been invis, but he's in mid lane and he'll get taken on the wrong teacher. That's a big catch if they can get it, and they will. They get two kills. I, I didn't realize the life there was in the bounty hunter. Oh, that... I they're guess he infested for the Roche contest, but then he yeah. realized, oh wait, they're not Roaching, let's, we don't have to But contest. what was the positioning then? They were literally under the tier 1 tower. If maybe they wanted to dive mid lane or something. Where we go, and this time around... I this, this is easy, it's very easy now. Yeah, Dendi's nearby, but... I think he can't really do much. I don't think he wants to walk in. Yeah, absolutely. be there ready with a smoke, and Dendi's stunned up. They haven't got the damage to kill him, but here comes... Yeah, in. Kezu very low. Eric takes the ages. Kezu likely to die here. Hearts up into a lot of damage with the Shadow Poison. He's taking out one. The Cinder and Kill gonna come as well. Error on the run. He's being slowed down, pushed around by the Flame Break. Yep, so... Do you have a dust? Uh, Do not have dust. The blink strike and yep. be okay. Dendi, back to farming. They recognized that the lone druid was in mid lane and the rest of the heroes didn't really have any resource, so that was really nice. That was okay. At the end of the day, Navi at least got uh, a couple kills. What, bounty hunter. Bounty on me? Yeah. Oh, he tried to go after Era and annoy surprise. him a little bit, but then Yapso said no. I, I don't even know how he knew because he didn't go Envy under the, the ward. Maybe it was a really good game sense. With the, the dust. Yeah, he, he just, just randomly dust. dusted. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower. Uh, they're going to really struggle to fight into the Radiance, I fear. They're just going to start five manning, and it's going to be really, really hard for Navi to Dyer's really do much tower. about it. They don't have the best deep push. And he's going for the Spirit Bear, but meanwhile, fight breaks out mid. Cinder is going to be the one that gets initiated on. He gets taken out. He's out rolling with the rage wearing off. He could be in some trouble. He gets defensively disrupted. Nice play by our style. And it looks like Deecha will be kept alive for now because of that. Shadow Poison starting to stack up, do some good damage and prevent some of these Blink Daggers. Kezu, just the one on him. That's a big long kill as well. Oh, looks like Era gonna get some revenge on Poikva. No, and then he's out of there. Out. So Era not done just yet, destruction from Art Style. Throws the Shadow Poison as well, that'll stop the Blink Dagger. Era having to deal with his own illusions. Nice play yeah. from Art Style, he's doing a lot of damage in these team fights as a Shadow Demon was really nicely done. He was kiting the Ursa for a while, and then he hit so many Shadow Poisons on all of the heroes. I mean, this is a typical art style game. Yeah. I mean, just look at the, um, the, the greed. And it pays. he gives back to his team. He's 2-1-3, yeah. 32 CS. Gonna have a very attack. early four star. This is uh, against Ursa, Beastmaster, Lone Druid, Ricky. You wanna force out a smoke screen, force away from Ursa, force a broad hero. Great game for a four star. Not a great game to be a bounty hunter. He gets yeah. down. Man. There's the completed Vlad's for Era. No, that's Bounty Hunter players. They they don't like to Radiance play against other Envy heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially ones that are permanently in vision. See, you go in and out. Yeah. Ricky doesn't have to go in and out. What was really important, though, is that they did get the Koikwa kill, so his Radiance is delayed by a good minute or two. That was really important. Mm -hmm. Although, I don't necessarily agree, agree with them chasing for the kill because they missed out on a lot of other kills for it, but I guess they just went for the trade-off. Well, be kind of holding their own. All their cores getting some good farm. The one player who's really struggling, not having a good game, is Soniko. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't put Soniko on my fantasy. I was so close to putting Soniko on my fantasy team. He sh probably should have been in my fantasy team, but yeah. starting things off slow here with his bounty hunter. Well, this is level six. You can always make track comebacks. Oh but, yeah. yeah. But as soon as they hit the radiance time, this bounty is not going to be like a non-factor. He's just going to track people. That sentry almost goes right in range. Sneaker, they go and they catch Kezu. The swap is nice immediately there. The roar comes in return. General getting fairly low. He gets disrupted again. Art style. Saving the nature. Perhaps General gets out to the south. He's going to survive for now. The own damage may stick him over. He does go down. Yapstop's coming in, doing so much work on the Ricky Maru. He's going to get Sneaker once more with the help of Poikva. Dendi in full retreat. It's a two for two so far. Both teams losing support plus offlaner, but perhaps damage not done yet. Art Style gets the disruption off once more with the Shadow Poison. He does not want one to root tangle. here. Four stacks on the Lone Druid. Art Style juking has more Shadow Poisons up to five. Be really, really, really careful with that. Yeah, it, it stacks up to so much damage. He actually he blew up the stacks, but didn't have quite enough to kill the actual bear. Start reapplying though, and I think he yeah, actually can't take the tower. Yeah, one more stack on that bear. He got his face dead. Oh, oh, oh blow up new stacks. Uh, pop. Probably not gonna die. Oh, 15 HP. And Sneaker. Well, what are they all doing? They're keeping him one by one. Oh, this is one of those games you just don't want to see him. Sneaker. Dendi's keeping in though. They haven't got Lasso, and Generals come up here, but can't actually catch anyone. Getting it's getting a bit out of hand. 
Oh, we did not expect Escape to be the ones leading in kills, but we also perhaps underestimated the error Ursa and his ability yeah. to find those kills because he's been in 12 or 14 so far. We spoke about it before that they really cannot deal with the Ursa at all. He's always full HP. No, so that's just... a bit of an odd one. Yeah. Not necessarily like a game changer by any means, but it's more just. I suddenly click it here, I'm like, huh, oh, what's this? What's happening here? Uh, I'm pretty sure he just did it for the Ursa because he had mana problems in most fights so far. Yeah. So I guess he just picked it up for Even the Ursa. when he was like roaching and stuff too, it issues. Yeah. Do they have any mana boots other than that? No. no. Wrench doesn't that. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. It's it's 20 minutes. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty, pretty good pick up for the team. So. You always want to have like at least one mana boot in the team. Artstyle continuing to be... The Battlefield Screw completed. Screw McDuck. 1300 gold on Artstyle. Yeah. He, he's really, he's really farmed. Whew. He's actually more farmed than the Beastmaster. Uh, this is not a like a rare occurrence. <laughs> Even though yeah. we're talking about this, it's not like this is like, whoa, what's happening here? This is insane time and time again Dyer's with that style. Well, smoked up again. But this smoke should be really obvious again because everybody's missing and they can't see him with the wards. Like, they should be prepared for this. Same time, you do have those wards, so maybe Na'Vi will be kind of playing aggressive. But they will see the smoke pop soon and General has a blink and four stuff to escape with. There we go, Kezu pops. That's the Raiders, they need to be careful. The Raiders coming they go in, in. They get Syndrome with the last of the flame break, pushing people around as well. Great disruption to help out DJ. Gets forced away from the smoke as well. Both Kevin and Syndrome burning down low. They've been a fist from Dandy. Get two. They've only lost General for this. DJ right on top pursuit as well. Era comes back in once. DJ and DJ. Nice play from Arsenal. Again, the disruption. Helping save life. Era needs to be careful now. Dandy gets out to the side. For that one last kill on Koikba, who's tracked up. Top Don't have the damage, the bouncing Druk and not gonna be there. And Zaniko gets taken out, bashed by Era. That is so well for Na'Vi. Oh! The Roshan Bash, he would not have died there. Should have ghost it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Ursa no. was the hero of that fight. He made yeah. so many big plays, but Era on Ursa. What a beast. Yeah, and now it's a free Roshan. One team fight, easy Roshan. That's Ursa. And. We have seen it, they just picked up the Radiance, he was like 50 gold of it and he, he just picked it up and it like won him the fight pretty much. Yeah. There were so many misses on the on the life sphere when he didn't have rage on, so he completely made the fight. That was... It's still not the worst fight imaginable for Na'Vi. They still yeah. got some, some key kills. They it did. General who tried to put her out of the pit. Now he may pay for this. He's been hit by the boar. Kezu has the raw. Swap back in and General will be deleted. Well, now the five men start with an Aegis on Ursa. It's going to be really scary. And this is where I guess you just slide a fist spam to defend. Yeah. He I mean, he, he does have a better fear up. Cinderin, this good. could be a kill. They've got life still nearby, and Cinderin. Easy track kill. Yeah, just split away from his team. <laughs> Gotta play the buddy system with that. You talked about five men with an Aegis. That was almost five. Yeah. Well, uh, and Ursa just completely dismantled Life Stealer. There's the bigger kill. It is actually really sad. Like, Life Stealer cannot fight Ursa like, at all. It's impossible. Yeah. Bashed up once, which is dead. They've got, that's where they've got these four stuffs, but much like Syndrome was caught alone, that was Life Stealer caught without buddies nearby. Yeah. Gonna stack the poisons on the Spear Pyramid. One of the nice things you can do to help as a support to actually burst this down. Yeah, hopefully he needs to be really careful with this. Yeah. I mean, he may just lose his spirit, but maybe he's happy to lose one to take some cows and objectives, yeah. but... Yeah. Jack getting six or seven poison sacks, that's like a good eight, nine hundred damage there. Okay, we have more item pickups. Okay, so he's actually going for a mech instead of Necro 2 or 3 or Blink Dagger. Ah, once... Going full team support. And even, I mean, that's the arcane boots with this. Now the arcane boots makes a lot more sense because you need yeah. the mana from the, to sustain the mech, and it also transitions into the greaves, which is pretty good for purging off some of the things like trap yeah. from the enemy team. And, and necro level one is like the the strongest necro level out of all of them. They, they still get stronger by quite quite a significant amount, but like not that much. Yeah, so that one should be the most important one. What do Navi look to do here? Are they just trying to avoid fights now that there's an Aegis, or are they? I, I think they really have to really avoid fights because this Ursa just spreads everybody apart. Like, he gets one bash on anyone and they simply just die. He's not allowed to punch anyone. Sorry, sorry, I'm yeah, they'll take the free kill. That's a track kill at that. And they get the purge up on Kezu. Can they turn this around with the Ursa? We're gonna see what Arrow looks to do, but he's being hided by the illusion. 
cut the ground there. I think he had a blink there off to the side. General getting very low with the disruptor from Artstar into a blink. Yapster now in trouble. He's cracked up as well. Blink to the bear. Off to the side is Era going on Dendi, but Dendi's still alive for now. Gets the slider fist off. He has a remnant to escape to if he needs to. A bit lower mana. Fighting a Necrobook, not thing he wants to do. Yapstor used off the track, it looks like it is. Dichara, no four star support. That style hits on cooldown, and Batrider, he attack. was well out of there. He was already back at base, and Navi are playing these fights really, they're kiting so well, but it, every fight seems to get to a point where they've used all their skills. They've used their full stuff, they've used their disruption, and then then suddenly, Era or Quake Post starts that, getting kills. They, they, they just can't bring them down. Like We see it at the end of every fight, Ursa is almost full HP, and the, the long is always full HP. They just can't deal with the two force right now, they need more damage. General in trouble again. Go off the map here. And we'll do so. Absor. Cracked up once more. Will he defuse this off as well? Does do so. He gets okay, dusted dusted. once more. They're spamming these dust out. Has another defusal. Man, he's gonna nice. shoot through those charges. Yeah. He gets away, but that'll be a bit concerning when you're down to one defusal charge already after like two team fights. Yeah. Well, made him burn it. Right. Al almost a bristle blade up on Ursa if he wants to go that route. He might also want to go BKB because they have a lot of movement and parrying spells. Yeah. It seems Syndrome will keep being the, the lasso target since yeah. he's got the swap save and hey why not? It's a track kill when you, you grab him and you start you turn to find that 5v4, but Oh but, but oh that was so close. Almost got a smoke screen off on Dendi. It would have been just dead. It's a kill. I have not been able to get this game. Dendi 803. Talk about this being a late game Ember game, it's starting to feel more and more like that for Na'Vi. That was, that was so unfortunate for Soneko, but I guess he should have checked the inventory. They wanted to D-Ward, so they just randomly dropped it at the rune spot, and then it was just there. The... But do you know the good thing about Venge is, even if you die... Oh, they're going on Kezu in mid lane. Alright, they'll find him. Okay. Yeah. Was good. Plays a little bit. That's the uh, infest combo. I mean, for Na'Vi, it's like a, let's find pickoffs, but let's not take team fights. Yeah. That seems like their best course of action. I mean, it was a good pickoff, but they killed Bounty before, so they do not get the whole benefit of it. And and coming back to Venge, if you lasso her and kill her first, you actually uh, reduce the whole team's damage <laughs> by... <laughs> how much is it now? 36%? Yeah. It's funny, because Syndra just hit level 10, and then he levels up the aura. He's like, I, I, he realizes what's going on here. He's going to be the one continuing getting targeted, so he's like, all right, if they're going to kill me first, let's make them pay for it. Yep. Minus 36% damage on you it's, guys. It's a lot, especially for a life stealer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're all in for, yeah, the best dead. Good, good. Pick off. Yep. That. Art style. Aghanim Scepter. Halfway. Not completed, but has half the money for it. Ooh, finds Yapsor. We defuse this one. It's his last charge. He'll do so. Blinks away. He definitely needs to buy new shoes right now. Yeah. And the, dust, the next dust not going to land, so he yep. can upgrade his previous one. He should do so right now. Yeah. Doesn't have the money to just fly up by a new one, which is something you'll often see as well, but... Yeah. So just think about the present. And him dying would be definitely a big detriment yep. to escape, considering his current status in this game, and what he's offering for the team. Yep. Seeing the BKB on Ursa, so he doesn't want to get carried around anymore. Thinks the bash has enough, doesn't need the Abyssal Blade. General to paint the top lane. He will still get cut by the demonic bird. Whoa, Deecha, bottom. Almost got blown up. The infest into a creep. Deecha still may die. Era will have a blink in a couple of seconds. Deecha trying to play ring around a Rosie. In comes Dendi. Oh, it was so good. In the neighborhood. Dendi. Does he have a remnant to escape to? Nice, man. Nice method. Yeah. And there we go. He does have the remnant. I really hate playing this matchup. Like, Ursa is just such a life stealer counter. And we spoke about the Terror Blade, but, but like, Ursa might even be a harder counter than the Terror Blade at this point. Yeah. <laughs> this game definitely speaks to that. Well, went on the lone to the top, can't really kill him though. Savage Raw saved him. Micro there. And he had already used his travels as well. Yep. So have Yapsor roaming into the top side of the map with wards here, probably just a bit of a warding mission. Yep. The, uh, level two. We'll see the high ground ward, but no way of clearing it out. And we see one gem pick up. That's on the dire side. I imagine it's almost time for Navi to invest in a gem of their own. He, he might actually get a solo kill on, on general. 
Yeah, yeah he will. Okay. He saw him use the spawn set to farm and he just went for the kill right away. Yeah. Do you not have a dust to kill him? Well, okay. Oh, they have sentry ward there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They get the turn around. If anything, I mean, you continue to track and also just considering yeah. how well Yaps is doing, that's a, a win for Navi. Yeah, I actually think so too. Yeah. It's like a lot of map control gone attack. for escape gaming. It's it should Navi. definitely look to deward their own half right now though. Yeah. It's like, there's so many wards of escape, like three. They definitely need to deward that. And that's the thing, with Ricky dead, you can move out on the map not worrying about being scouted. Uh, at one point, trade when you're the team slightly behind, playing defensive is always going to be advantageous, or at least mostly if it's considering heroes of similar value. Yep. And Navi actually go for a smoke, so they're going aggressive. And Sonico leading the way, an infested lifestealer inside of him. They might find the lone druid here, if he's not careful. That'd be a, a nice kill. Uh, he's probably a bit too fast, or... Going the wrong way. Yep. They get one more down, they found nothing, and they'll decide to back off, I believe. Yep. The is getting pretty big, though. Yep. We should have an item in the career. Yeah, Crystallis. When he hits a Daedalus, he will do scary damage too. And but then uh, again, if he gets bashed once, he will just instantly die. General has uh, picked up a gem, so we see gem on both Navi and Escape now. Good. So they Navi really need to clear their side. Four wards on their own side, they need to clear all of that right now. General has the gem, he sees, he's seen one, so... We instantly see the smoke of Escape Gaming they, when they see the gem, because they want to reclaim the gem right away. And they know what's going on with the, the gem, with the ward clearing. General... Oh, very nice scan. Scan out escape game perfectly. He's gone in all the way behind them. Navi on the low ground here, but not necessarily a bad thing as long as Dendi doesn't get roared or smoked up. There's a man for available. Eric goes in to start things off Dendi. They're gonna get Arso if yes, they do just banish the Howl of Terror. So the Drake comes out from Ricky doing a lot of damage from Invis and Deech is done for. Navi immediately lose three, have to disengage. It was a very awkward position to take that fight from and really showed for Na'Vi, being caught on the low ground and just being very split up. General was doing like a full loop-de-loop -loop around the enemy back lines. I guess the only good thing about that fight is that they didn't lose the gem. <laughs> yeah. And another free roach, just some piece for the... I would assume for the, for the one druid. Roach on yeah. I think they, for a second they didn't even realize it was cheese. Yapsha was like, hey, wait a second, guy. Yeah, I'll take it then if you don't <laughs> want it. Demon Edge on uh, the bear, so yeah. looks... But at, at this point, life there really is a non-factor. He, he can't do anything in these fights. Just getting kited, he's just... Well, okay, they saved the, the gem. gem last fight, they'll lose this one. So we'll... That one up for his team, and... Man, Era is so good on these heroes that they just find pick off. He's just there when he needs to be there, and he just killed you. This is why you pick Era for your fantasy teams. As much as, like, Quakefer plays more of, like, the carry role for the team, but Era plays playmakers. He's the one getting the kills. Quakefer, he's getting the CS, the objectives. Yeah, Era is kind of position two, and Quakefer is position one. Kind of like the old EG, where the mid is the carry. Yes. We'll see what Eric can do. He's in the back line. Blink gets cancelled and won't hit the first clap. Yaps are on the front line trying to get to Nico. Gets the blow, doesn't get the kill, but with Bat dead, hard defense to make it. Killed the first spirit back. Quick, we're gonna have to resummon. Quick was actually getting pretty low too. Yeah, the slider fist spam is doing some good work here. They have got that cheese they could pass over. Bouncing Shrukin will catch three cancels. Quick was TP. It shouldn't be. A kill, probably. but it's a bit annoying. Yeah. Aram maybe wants to re-engage. He's going to complete his abyssal all of a sudden. Right, that is so scary, he can just blow up anyone now. How do you deal with this Ursa as, as Navi? You, you really can. He's, right, he just kills you. Bam the demonic purge on him when you get the Ag Scepter. That's one way. Like They need like the perfect team fight. They need to get four staffs when he enrages. They need to kill him twice. With BKB on as well. It's just I just can't see it happen right now. Like escape full retreat, they're yep. making their way back, knowing they're a bit split up and vulnerable. Navi actually were hunting them as well, but escape's vision again. They had the high ground. They may have actually seen the smoke. I'm not sure where Navi smoked up. Nice little high ground ward here. It, it, it's really just the wards running in the game right now. Like they've had four wards in the half of Navi for such a long time. I mean, that's one of the powers of Ricky. Is you can just go wherever you want on the map and plant these wards without revealing yourself. Yep. Bounty, you actually reveal yourselves when you plant them often, but. And it was a bit sad that they lost the gem like right away without even getting the chance to redeem really everything. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, like you, say, like you say, the vision. Yeah. You see everything if you're escaping. The thing is, if you see no heroes with these wards, you, you, you know kinda, they're up to something. Yeah, they're either smoked as five or you know they're on that little dark spot farming the jungle, for example. But more likely yeah. than not, they're just they're up to something, like you yeah. say. Got an MKB completed on the Lone Druid. 
not okay. entirely sure no, why no, we no KP. Damage. No, but they, they don't have any damage, evasion. Yeah, I, I would rather like to see a basher. Because then life is really out of the game. If they have two bashers, I guess MKB is really good damage to, to pressure the Rex. So. Yeah, I guess Deso is the one other, right? If you want to go pure damage, you'd consider the Deso, perhaps. But yeah. I honestly, I'm not a lone Druid player. Quick, but is one, one of the best lone Druid players. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he definitely has a reason, even if yours truly does not understand it. <laughs> he's too next level for me. Yo, on that hero for sure. And now with an, and you can also use the demonic purge now with three charges on the bear if you really want to. As like that, you don't have to worry. Like you've got three to play around with. Yeah. Well, they're just gonna go for the Rex. Have a second bear now. A still the Aegis as well. That lasts for about another minute and a half. They're this should just be a free Rex almost. I, I don't see what Navi can do. They're gonna try to do something. Line of Fist Bank coming out. Arzal doesn't even get his Ghost Scepter off. He got Abyssal down. First Rax goes down. Citroen in the front line. Perhaps happy to die for the cause, but he may not even go down. Just barely. It's taken out by Na'Vi. Era with his BKB. Once Zaniko will settle for a Rax instead, and then already Quikfa. We talked about this guy being the objective gamer. Well, his team's fighting. He is taking the mid lane. He does not care what his team is up to. Era blinking past the racks, creating space for Quinkfa to do what he does best, and that's going to take the building, the Navi base, and take game one away from the CIS squad as Escape Gaming, your wildcard runner up, have taken the opening game of the group stage. What a way to start things off. That's making a statement. They made it look easy too. Yep. They, they weren't controlled the game from start to finish. Let's just hide those. We didn't get anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, there, there was no problem at all. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay. No problem at all for Escape Gaming. Uh, there is Ursa in, and Yapsa Ricky. Yeah. Seems